How many feet do you reckon? Oh, max 10, 15 <laughs> before you're pulling back. And what we're going to do is a launched takeoff here. So what we're going to do is hold the brakes a little bit, stick in your lap. Pull power off the brakes, pop it, forward on the stick, tail comes up. Three, two, one, rotate. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Nice. See how crooked you are though? Yeah. Dude, you, got, you got the crap so much. down with just normal pattern power adjustment and stuff. And we'll wait for flaps until a little closer. Ah, it's gusty. Yeah. Power back quite a bit here and pull one notch. Go two notch. Perfect. Turn car heat off. Keep the power to it. Ground speed 33. Uh, and go all notches, full flaps. We're going to do a three point landing into this, so essentially a high nose up flare with very little power because this thing's going to just, that wind's just going to float us down there. Black helicopter uh, beam picnic table strip 2000. Perfect. Get the hillside, just passing you up. Yeah, just slight power adjustment. Keep that nose down a little bit. You boys headed for dogs? Oh, no, bring right. that power out here. Big dog. Bring that power out. Good, good. Keep pulling. Look at the look at the gravel. Look at the gravel. Look at the gravel. Flaps out, flaps out, flaps out. Alright. Dude. Was that sick or what? That was awesome. Whoa. <laughs> um let's go for takeoff man. All right, two stages? No, go full flaps. Oh, See what right. this puppy could do. Okay. All right, forward stick, full power. Tail's gonna come up and rotate very soon after. There we go. And pull back. That's ridiculous. Get rid of one notch. Less drag, there you go. And then just climb up to like, 200 feet, and then level out. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yep. All right, go full flaps. And then just kind of S-turn it here, because we need to get down. Yeah. Kind of bleed it out a little bit. Have that nose coming down towards it there. Keep that visibility. All right, nice, slow, controlled. Thick lap, all the way, there you go. All right, let's go for another one. Tail comes up. Have a little back pressure. There you go. Pitch it up, keep that nose down, add that power to compensate. There you go. Now, once you're clear, come on down. There you go. Power out in your lap. And keep it in your lap. Beautiful. I'm ready when you are. And rotate. What is this? What? I just look, we got like sign. Oh yeah, crabbing. Some insane pushing. Nick traffic, super cub, landing just off a wolf point mid channel. It's not right there, right? Yep, that's it. You found it. Hey, it's hard to spot some of them. This is actually not that bad, but. Right. Like, I guess the strips in the mountains must be impossible to see. If you don't know. You them. have to be low and slow. That's the only way, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you don't, you'll never find something. Yeah, a bit of a left crosswind actually. Any tips for a crosswind landing? The slight stick in the direction of that crosswind, try and touch that upwind wheel down slightly before the other and keep holding that crosswind all the way through that landing. 
But when you go flare with the stick back in your lap, hold it to that wind there. Yep, keep that power to it, keep that nose down. Aim for the beginning of that strip just beyond that, that little brush right there. Very good, keep bringing it in, keep bringing it in. As soon as you're clear of that brush, start backing that power out, keeping that nose coming down. Good, good, good. Pretty much take it all the way out, hold the correction in there. In your lap, there you go, hold the left. And I'll tap the little brake. All right, good. all right. Let's do these flaps. Oh, this, just three? Yeah. All right, stick forward slightly to the left, and then off the brakes, check, and good for takeoff. Hill comes up. Do with that rotors. Keep holding it left there, keep holding it, and rotate. Nice. If you cut it too early, it's still the better option. Nice. Off the brakes, forward stick, ready, go. That's Blue Valley 903 Kilo off Gannett Point at 1.2 will be turning to the west for a landing on the glacier about two miles from here. Alright, level out here. We're going to go to a new one. Then veer to the left, go to the big vein of water. Go into the wind, obviously, but it's like right here, just this. Just this okay. flat spot, not the whoop, not the water, just this flat spot aiming into the wind there. Okay. So you come over there, boom, right into the wind, you're good. Look at that lift. Yeah, not the dark spots there, yeah. but yeah, just beyond in the light gravel there. Keep that power to it, keep that nose down for visibility. Alright, power out now, I guess. Uh, now. Cut the power. Hold it in your lap. There you go. Now, we'll have to follow the water just a little bit and then take off into the wind, so it'll be a slight crosswind to the left there. Alright, when you're ready. Soft, easy, nice and smooth, and then power out, stick back. Beautiful. These are big rocks. A little bit bigger. I guess you got enough. Let's just take off from here. Yeah, you got enough. Alright, a bit of a less crosswind, I think. But yeah, just slight. Are we doing that again? Yeah, let's do it. I'd watch the helicopter, so I'd probably break right for this one.
little bumpy on, on that in there. Just a little bumpy, but got massive tires. Like, look at the relative size of the rock yeah, to the tire. Yeah, right? I know. You just, I mean, we could put this thing on boulders if you wanted yeah. to, but I don't thoroughly enjoy that all too much unless I have to. Oh. But it's born and bred for this st kind of stuff. Yeah. You all good? I'm good. Get that gravel. He put that nose. Left of correction there. Get rid of those flaps. 